as a, a bigger testicle. I I don't know. Something's wrong. What? What? No, I I had a joke, but I'm gonna leave it out. Oh uh, well. I say this man had a bigger testicle. Okay. No, I was gonna say they were smaller because of all the fucking he's been doing. But um. Uh, oh my god. Okay. God. Oh my god. It just doesn't feel the same when Alex isn't here to comment, so uh, that's why I'm trying to avoid that. <laughs> Besides, we're not broadcasting yet. We are. Oh, well, we're actually live? I thought you just started the local recording. No, like, we're we're live. It states okay. that we are. Uh, hold on. Farming. It states that we are. I just have to wait for the, the web browser to refresh on my end. Nelson, what about Juliana's on Old Fulton Street? Um, how far are you from there? I don't really know that pizzeria. Uh, I the only pizzeria that I know is uh, Monty's over there by Montague Street, which is not far from you. You have um, I think little bro. little pizza. Or my little pizza or something like that over there on Court and State Street. You got um a Smiley's Pizza on Seventh Avenue and Ninth Street. You have Caruso's, which is on Bergen and Smith. What about Grimaldi's? Never heard of them either. Oh my god. No, sir. Oh I'm sorry, I don't eat bad pizza. Hey, um, let's see, Shintakuma, man, you would you, you would appreciate it last night. It's an old school yeah. rap concert. Yeah, man. I heard, I heard. Man, Nelson and Garvin was like, oh, for, hey, from, do you know such and such? Was, I know, I, I know their names. I, damn. I, know. Yeah, damn. I was, I was just like, I was looking at him like, you have got to be kidding me. Pray for the children. Pray for the children. <laughs> Pray uh, for the children. Uh, for, from what I heard, it sounded like you two, you guys went to a strip club from what I heard. Damn. Told you that. <laughs> yo, you, you, yo, you, you need to tell them about your little wild story with, with homegirl in front of you, though. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 she was. Get the digits. Oh. She was nice. She was, she was a little she was short. She was short. And she got up in the chair and was just literally in front of me and put her ass in my face and was shaking. I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay. He, he was dazed oh. out when he was like, oh, shit. It was, yeah. it was clean to smell good and yeah, you're straight. Yeah, oh, I, I, think, I, think, I think that was her. I think that was the, the mother and the daughter were there. I think that was the daughter. The, no, the I don't, the I, shit, I don't know. Yeah, and the, and the bigger woman was was the mother. She was she was she was lit, boy. She was, she was, I mean, they were into it. They were, I mean, those. I mean, you would appreciate it. So I I, I think I want to do another um um see. I, I let me see. I call it's called the I Love the Nineties tour. Yeah, it's happening sometime in August in Jersey, like Newark, Newark New Jersey, something like that. All right, but we're about to start the local recording soon. Of course, we're doing like the raw stream. Uh, you guys might be used to seeing Alex. Uh, today, I'm taking over due to uh, whatever personal issue he's having at the moment. I'm fucking old. Well, yes, you are fucking old, but that's that's <laughs> you know the point here. <laughs> so we'll get started soon. Uh, that was the wrong one. I'm sorry. I meant this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I am going to start the local recording after I queue up this music. Biden Paco. Paco. So you guys, should, you guys should be able to hear the music on stream. Hopefully, if it's too loud, you guys can tell me in chat and. Um, I'll get it settled down. Alright, so we're gonna start the local recording in five, four, three, two, one. Okay. What's going on guys? This is the New Gaming Order podcast of July 30th, 2016, the last podcast of the month. What's going on? Uh, <laughs> I am your 
co-owner slash, I guess, CEO, whatever the hell he calls it these days, uh, Mugen Ketsuki, or as you know me as Nelson. Um, I'm taking Alex's place for today due to personal issues that he's having and, you know, behind the scenes of the company. I'm fucking old. Yes, you are. Eric. Please stop saying that. You are old. We fucking know this. Old. That's the only sound clip I have of him. I don't have anything else. <laughs> that's, that's what he I gotta get. I, I gotta get unbelievable. I gotta find an old clip with that. Yeah, that's why he couldn't come out because he's so fucking old. But um, <laughs> you gotta get Shim one when he says lag. You gotta get that one. <laughs> <laughs> but today we will uh, introduce the the panel that we have for today, and then we'll get into several topics and we'll get more in depth with it. All right, so we're going down from my order. So NYC Playboy, what's going on, man? Introduce yourself to the to the stream. Hey, good morning, everyone. Hey, it's it's, a, it's Saturday, so I'm looking forward to these topics we got at hand. Um, particularly the Doom topic. Um, also the Nintendo news, um, especially regarding the um, the NX. Uh, and how they're not going to use a very um, powerful graphics card. They're going to use the, um, in, was it Integra? The same graphics engine as they have in the Infinity Shield. But yeah, other than that, I'm looking forward to today's topic. Good seeing everyone here. Welcome to everyone in the stream. Let's have a good show today, guys. All right, good, good. Uh, next on the list is Anya Needs. What's going on? Yo, uh, same shit, different day here. Um, I started playing Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen. I got it from the Steam sale, so I'll be playing that a bit. Um, I might do something tomorrow, uh, but otherwise, yeah, same shit, different day. Got nothing going on, um, so I am not bringing much to the table today. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, Shin Takuma, what's going on? Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm um, still doing my thing, still studying, and still playing Ace Combat. King of Fighters lands. Ace that's Combat. About it. Shit. That's, that's Ace really Combat. Yeah, Ace Combat. Um, was it six? I think. Yeah. I thought they're up to thirty-seven. No. No, no seven comes out um for the PS4. So. Yeah. Hopefully. That's dropping. No, it's coming out. It's coming soon. So I'm waiting oh. on that. Oh, okay, okay. And last but not least, uh, I don't know if Alex made him a member of NGO, but I'm going to announce it. Uh, you know, the newest member of New Gaming Order, T-Risk, or Terror Risk. What's going on? I wouldn't call myself a member just yet. I'm just a Nah, really. nah. Once you are Ooh. on the show, th th I I'm the telling attitude you, we like to have. Since I am the co-owner of this company, once you appear on the show, you're automatically a fucking member of the new gaming order. <laughs> What's going on? That's right, bitch! <laughs> hey, I, I gotta figure out when I write the, the resume for this. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, just not, not really much of a week as well. Just like all your knees. I've been playing the King of Fires demo since I'm not really much of a King of Fires fan and I need to practice. So yeah, that's man. Cool. All right, cool, cool. Uh, Alex says no chat window. You want me to mimic exactly what you do, Alex? You want me to put the chat window on? All right, let, let, let's do that because I, 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 I need... Wait, I know he had technical difficulties, so why is he still talking? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly... No! I'm trying to figure out like, what the... Alright, so apparently that's not going to work, so I have to do it in another way. So one second, let's get this screen capture as well. Uh, let's put up the chest, since Alex want to be a freaking baby. Ooh! And um... Yeah! Okay. Let me uh, do some work. Oh, window, window, window. We're, we're doing Twitch Inception here? Pretty much. <laughs> is it, is it, is it too much of a hassle for you guys to get to Albany, New York? Albany? Like, I don't... That's like a six hour drive for most of us. Even you guys. Damn! Yeah, actually, 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 how far, how, how far is that? Uh, let me see. I need directions. 
He's like, I need directions. Well, I know how to get there, but I just forgot how long, it, how actually far it is. No, okay. So you guys should be able to see chat now. It's kind of small. If you need it bigger, let me know. I don't see the need for all that shit. Oh. But it's okay. only a three hour drive. Okay, that's not too bad. So it's only a, that's a three hour drive. Yeah, from me. You guys are probably probably about the same because you gotta get to the city. All right, so let's move on with the first topic at hand. And what do we have when we scroll all the way up? Apparently, we have the thing that on your knees put up saying that Nvidia settles graphics card false advertising class action. So what we're gonna do, since I don't know shit about half of these topics that are here, we're gonna have the person who put out the post lead into it, and then we'll go around the the table and discuss our opinions on it. So on your knees, if you're willing to discuss about this uh, uh, false advertising class action lawsuit against Nvidia. Yeah, so it's pretty straightforward uh, with the GTX 7 970. I believe the issue was it was advertising four gigs, but only three and a half are accessible. So, you know, people were losing a half a gig of performance, which is, you know, the 12 point, 12 and a half percent. That's a big margin. So uh, they settled out. Um, it's going to be uh, each buyer of the, of the GTX 970 will get $30 and they're going to pay 1.3 million in attorney's fees. And so let that be a lesson, kids. The only winners in class action lawsuits are the lawyers. That but, uh, is fucking crazy. Yeah, so apparently, uh, let me see, initial proposed class action lawsuit uh, in a series of lawsuits against the video was filed February 2015. So this was started February 2015. It's only getting resolved now. Um, let me see here. Yeah, so this just covers a few other things. Um, let's see. Yeah, and the 30 dollars was set to calculate the difference, the loss in performance. So if you have your GTX 970, you can sign up and get your discounts. You get your thirty dollar uh, gift cards or whatever the hell they're going to give you. Mm. Cool. Okay. So does anyone have a? <coughs> anything to say on this particular topic like do you think this is uh enough to be given back do you feel like you should be deserved more it is this like uh yeah, type of thing so out of the money that everybody's getting back only thirty dollars thirty dollars all right the cart launch it could have you could have got back one dollar and 77 cents yeah i've seen that happen before with these class actions <laughs> or, or you get like free songs or something i think well, that was the worst one i've seen uh songs. but yeah so out of out of three the the card launched for 350 uh and then you know you're gonna get 30 dollars back nice. well, that's somebody that's, that's some gas money for somebody so uh... yeah well gas is cheap that's two tanks for a lot of people i know <laughs> so i think i will take it <laughs> yeah take that shit go ahead <laughs> i take it wow this is like yeah not much else going on here this is more like a psa thing but like we can go on to something it's else. still something to talk about because it, it's yeah. definitely, <clears throat> excuse me, it's definitely an issue that mm -hmm. that needs to be discussed. And I I don't like when uh, you know certain companies try to be slick about uh, doing certain things, underhanding people, and you know whatnot. I mean, if I get money back, yeah, good for me. But if I don't, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, Sony, what y'all doing? Oh, man. Damn, you blaming Sony now? I'm oh. playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. I'm to make that was play. a bait for the fanboys. I want to see what they're going to do. Oh, but Alex yeah. isn't here. Oh. <laughs> oh, what a blood. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, dang, yo. I'm trying to stress this window as much as I can. Let me make a oh, quick little boy. taste on it. Right. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is since again, that topic wasn't really that much to, uh, to kind of talk about, we're going to just jump in right to the next one. And, um, I guess I'll bring up the, the new HP Quadro M6000 graphics card. Now this is apparently Jesus. a workbench graphics card. This is not meant for gaming whatsoever, but if for whatever reason you wanted to do gaming on this graphics card it is able to do 4k resolution natively and it is able to perform extremely well with the current uh updated games you'll just have to tinker 
with the BIOS files to, you know, optimize it for gaming. Because, again, it's it's only meant for rendering high videos and 3D rendering of, like, creations and stuff like that. So it's not meant to be for, for gaming. For $4,000, you better do a lot more than that. Oh, yeah. That's how much it, that's how much it cost? Yeah, it's about it's Click, about on, click on the link. It's, yeah, thirty nine ninety nine. Four thousand dollars? Oh, original price was forty seven hundred. You save seven hundred dollars instantly. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a down. That, either that's a down payment on a new car or three years rent in an apartment complex. He said three years rent. I'm done. It's over. <laughs> I'm it's four thousand dollars. The game, better, Wait. the game better. The game better come with a, a built-in AI system to help me beat other people. That, that, that's four months, right? Where the fuck I'm at? Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> Let me see if this works. Hold on, I'm gonna test it. Or that's like that's not even two months. Four thousand dollars. It oh, better come with equipped with an AI system oh my God. that will help sure. me figure out the opponent's next move to fight them. I'm just saying. Yeah, better shit's better like predict the future. <laughs> It comes Look, with a free, for free $4,000, awesome. you, better, you better tell me some air traffic control. Let me say some air traffic control. <laughs> you should be able to seek out and find the cheapest tickets ever. For $4,000. Okay. Hold well, on. There's actually websites for that. Um, there's uh, websites that find uh, flights with layovers because they're usually a lot cheaper than a direct flight. And then you can mm -hmm. just cancel the flight when you land and get a partial refund back. Shit, I'm gonna do that trying to go overseas. Yes, get straight. For a Playboy, I, I wouldn't recommend doing that. <laughs> I no. wanted to get stuck somewhere. Where you at? I'm in Dubai. <laughs> I could get stranded in Dubai, but I, well, yeah, you I, know what? I, I would too. But uh, yeah. no. oh, that's oh yeah. You heard about uh, no more VPNs in uh, the UAE? You hear about that? Oh, I, I haven't heard about that. Trust me. That that I I, I yeah. Uh, that, uh, there's, it's, it's not. It's it, yeah. There's it's, ways around that. Yeah, there's always ways around it, but. That I think the fee, the fine is like a four hundred fifty thousand dollars or something. If you're caught using a VPN. Oh, okay. Oh, sure. I heard about that. Yeah, they said you could. Yeah. I guess uh, let me see yeah, if I can yeah. find a link. We can bring that up. People was it. using it to like, like I guess like watch certain other videos. They could watch it. There's one I saw. Yeah, oh, yeah it was. It. it was a way to get around filters. It also, was a way to get around voice yeah, blocks. Yeah. Yeah. Because they yeah. block VoIP in, U in UAE. Yeah. And wasn't uh, they so going yeah. to like? They weren't going to like internet cafes or something like that. Well, they was going somewhere else. Well, you just be peeing outside the country and you bypass all the firewalls they have. Oh, right. Yeah, that's, um, that's watching porn. <laughs> it's mostly for porn. Yeah, concentrator. <laughs> well, you know, because there, there are a lot of expats who live in um, who live in UAE, um, Abu Dhabi, and uh, Dubai, you know. So they're, like, trying to watch, like, you know, Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime. Yeah. And those services are not are not registered in um, in uh, UAE. So you use a, so you use a, like a like a UK uh, VPN or a no. Russian VPN. Just just uh, go from there. Okay. All right. Now, I'm sorry, oh. guys. I'm just oh, trying to sit this fucking chat in here, but it's just not quite. Uh, well, we've been, we've been filling the air with stories. You're co you're covered. All right. yeah, you're so. Um, we're gonna end this particular segment because again, it's it was only relevant for the thing since it was both graphics cards and so on and so forth. Um, I'd like to thank for the people who are watching live. Yes, yes, terrorist with caps, right? It's what we need. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for your live audience for the um, for coming on and watching this portion of the segment for you YouTube um, audience we're gonna take a quick little intermission we'll still keep the you know the oh my god yo the director's cut as Alex calls it oh um, my show. and we'll be right back Juicy. all right so we're still streaming I'm about to like name everything and uh, get into that all right who got this shielded twisted pair of cable here oh wait I'm sorry <laughs> that's you, man. Oh, that's the VPN. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, that's the... yeah, that's the VPN story. Get some of that UTP in there. Okay, so this will be what the let's see, graphic card seg. Right. 
That's right. already renamed. Kill those, kill those stories. What's next on the docket? Okay, so this looked pretty good on paper, but now it's... Hours. Oh, we're doing... Let me see. What the hell is this? VG Bootcamp. What the hell is this about? Castle looks way there to suck. It's a long story. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that, 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 that's a very fun fucking story, which I don't, uh -oh. I, I <laughs> don't want to like, get too much into detail, but it's just like... What is it? What is it? What is it? I will bring it up once I start the local recording in five, four, Three. Oh, come on, Mouse. Are you fucking serious, <laughs> Mouse? Okie doke. <laughs> oh, sorry. I had the wrong fucking thing. All right. We're going to start right now. All right. Welcome back, guys. I will not say Alex's catchphrase because that's a lot of J and B words. So we'll refrain what? from that. What? Uh, when you get in the mind? But, um, <laughs> no, because he, he comes out, he's like, oh, it's a juggernaut bitch. We're coming back with yeah, the hair crush. Yeah, bitch. You know, I, yeah, I, I, there you go. You did it. I, I, I don't want to take nobody's fucking catchphrase. What's a juggernaut? Bitch. I don't want to take nobody's catchphrase. I got to find out which one of y'all going to toast my salad. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I don't want to toss my salad because, you know, salad's supposed to be eaten properly with and stuff like that, but all right, <laughs> let's get into the next. <laughs> Dude, that was funny. Go ahead. That was funny. Let's get into the next topic at hand. Apparently, I will lead into this since I know more about it. Uh, VG Bootcamp. If you guys don't know who that is, it's a YouTuber and a streamer that's dedicated to Super Smash Brothers, whether if it's Melee, Brawl, whether if it's the new one for the Wii U. It covers all, all bases, right? So apparently the co-owner, I don't remember his name, but the co-owner apparently has uploaded a video within the same night that he was streaming a tournament. He had to go in a uh, different room with a different laptop and speak for like briefly on 10 minutes of the subject. He has lost, not the videos. That's, that's the main concern I want to give to you guys. He has not lost his video actual footage. What got deleted was the title history and the description history. Six years worth Ouch. of work, which is 12,500 videos on the channel, oh. has all been changed to the same title. Wait, how the fuck oh. did that happen? Now, nah, let me explain <laughs> that part. So, apparently, the guy is very um, iffy about his work about letting anyone access his uh youtube channel or editing or whatever because uh there was a to that recommended hey there's a way to do instant uploading i got a guy he's mad good he does it for my streams all the time he's cool peoples uh you guys should link up so he was a little iffy on the subject and he's like well i don't know it's kind of you know whatever right so apparently he tried it he, he trusted him for that one time he gave him a 20 minute video synopsis of like hey this is what i want you to do if you are doing instant uploading so on and so forth so apparently it took five clicks on youtube it took five clicks for that dude to put one title select all the videos acknowledge it and hit done and it ruined the entire history of the Smash community. How come it didn't just hit the uh, the redo button? There's no such thing as a goddamn redo button on YouTube. <laughs> how, how the fuck can you rename 12,000 fucking videos? Copy, paste, clicks. insert, delete. What? <laughs> what? He nah. pretty much hit select all. And, yeah, select uh, all. Select all. Select all. I like that one. <laughs> Control T. <laughs> no! No! But it, it, it definitely got out of hand. And, um... So, this is what's going to happen now. To, to f finalize everything. Since that has happened, he's trying to get in contact with YouTube to see if... No, there's no hack. You're not listening to the story. He allowed someone to have access to the YouTube channel. What the heck? <laughs> And the person's job specifically 
was to instant upload every single video based on the stream that has been broadcasted. That that was the purpose. But instead, he went on YouTube and he fucked it up somehow. And mind you, he got recommended by Tio, which we don't know who it is. Because he didn't allegedly say the Tio's name. So now, what he's trying to do is he's trying to talk to YouTube to see if they can find a way, if there's an old archive with the old titles and the old viewer counts of um, the video because that that's what he's relying on he's relying on the amount of views that was on the specific video in order for people to get suggested to the next video so people could find matches that they want on the fly but now since they're all reset it back to zero it's not gonna do uh, that. Oh, he, oh when he renamed the files to the viewer count got reset too no no like when when you rename any video on YouTube right the video mm -hmm. still stays the same it still has the meta tags but the views the number increment of how many people watch the video resets yeah that's what I meant that yeah. view count reset yeah yeah it, 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 it goes bye bye Ooh. and he put the same name on 12,500 videos so it's pretty much him as if he were to start his entire YouTube page over. Yes. But has every single video there. So yes. he basically starts from scratch with thousands of videos already there. Right. And it is useless too at this point because he's got to rename 12,000 fucking videos. Right. But the thing is he will still have to, to start over and get the fan base back up. So apparently he's ridiculously fucked. Ouch. Yeah, he is going to lose money. That's the purpose. He was living off of YouTube revenue. And this is why I always tell people, get real fucking jobs before you do anything like this. So you have something to fall back on. Don't, don't, oh, this don't is... put all your yeah. eggs in one fucking basket. You all can't be fucking Kevin Smith and make it on your gamble. Most people fail. Yeah, it's, it's pretty sad, but um, I would like to get you guys' opinion. You think this was... Uh, a smart move on his part for trusting uh, an outside source when he allegedly no! never has done this before and he was very concerned about it at first, but he still allowed it to happen. And what would you would have like gone about it and do you think that YouTube is able to fix it? I'm trying to think, why didn't he back up any of his files? It wouldn't have mattered. No, no, no. It he has... Real, like he has all his videos. That's not the issue. He does have backups of all the video footage. The title that is on the videos now cannot yeah. be backed up because that that's, that holds the accounted amount of views yeah. that, that that's within that title. So the title well, basically dictates of how many people has watched it. But what I mean is that video that he had with that title before he actually put it on YouTube, how come he didn't save it to his like computer as a backup? Well, or, that's not, that's, that's not that the issue. That is not anything. the issue. It, it, again, he has all that information. He can just put it back up, but the views won't carry over. He had about like, let's say, he had about like two million views on one video. Now with the new title in place, even if he was to change it again, it starts at zero. Damn, that's like, well, not that's like I found out you won a lottery, but you can't find the ticket. Pretty much, I guess, if you want to Damn. put it in that sense. <laughs> Yeah, so oh, lottery. What's the ticket? So it, it, it's pretty upsetting to, to hear this, you know, within the fighting game community. I, I do feel terribly bad for him because if that happened to uh, the New Gaming Orders channel, I'm pretty sure Alex would be pretty fucking upset. Because the thing is, it's it's a lot of mixed stuff. It's stuff from New Moving Order, stuff from New Fighting Order, and New Gaming Order all meshed in there together. So that's a lot of videos. Yeah. What well, a Smash Brothers. I mean, he'd be I. I mean, I mean the thing is, he, <laughs> he, he's he's one of like the faces to to put content up for Smash, and for all of that happening, yeah. Well, if it's still somewhere in the data frame, well, hopefully. I mean, again, that's what if they go through their low balances, I'm sure they probably can find. Uh, he he's waiting for YouTube, so yeah. Got it here back from. So, does anyone else have anything to discuss about this topic? If not, I will uh, he, move on. To he that. fucked up. That's all I can say. Yeah, <laughs> he did. He should have just watched the guy at first. Let yeah. see what he would have done, and 
if he saw anything like going on, just shove the guy out of the way, say, just get out and don't help me again. Because he Whoa. already has trust issues. Uh -huh. And if you have trust issues like that, you should be watching the people you're trying to trust. Right. I'm just... Oh, man. I, I, I can't, again, begin to imagine the amount of bullshit that, um... Hold on, I'm just pushing the chat out so it, like... Hell, oh, man. Really... I'm probably gonna have to shrink it down somehow. Cause I can't stretch it. Like that's what I want to do is stretch it, but it's fine the way it is. Yeah. Stretch it. Okay, so we're gonna end this segment. I'm gonna end the local recording. Um, the next topic will be: Does anyone know about the kingdom uh, kingdoms of the Alamar devs uh, criminal charges case besides on your news? Loosely. Yeah, I don't know about the charges. I know what happened with the company. Um, but I guess I can read the article real quick and just see what's going on with that. All right, so we'll do that on the next segment. Thank you guys again for watching. For you YouTube viewers, just stay tuned. We're, we're trying to cover as many topics as we can possible. For you uh, streaming audience, just stay tuned because it seems like Alex is the only one typing when your ass should have been on the fucking podcast. Just because. saying. Just saying. I'm fucking old. Thank well, you. Uh, <laughs> you know. I had to I had to find it. I got I got like 50 sound effects on here now, so it's kind of hard to find stuff. Mm, yeah. All right. So uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. Right, where's this fucking article? There we go. Now I now gotta it. rename the video. Now I gotta archive it. God damn it. Dee, 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 dee. What was that one? Damn. Right. Okay. We'll talk about those. I think. Smells. Uh. No. What? I should have played this when they when when you announced it. You know that. <laughs> Crash. That's pretty much what that was. It was a fucking no. It was a train wreck. I gotta get a train crash sound effect. <laughs> hey, hey man, hey, How hey. Do you not I like trains and I love trains, so don't really love train crashes on here. How do you not have a sample of Iori's laugh by now? <laughs> <laughs> From Kings of Fighters. Yeah, any one of them. Uh, again, uh, I keep I, I keep telling people to give me suggestions for sound yeah, effects. Or Ori's laugh is sadistic though. <laughs> Wait a minute. So oh, you know what? You know what? This would have been this would have been better. You are not oh my! I, I could have used my new one. All but right. um, I just I just it? realized something. Let me just uh. Activate Were you not it. recording? No 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 no, no 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 no. you're streaming. I can see you streaming. No no no. I'm streaming. No, because the thing is, um, Alex is like, oh, do the chat, do the chat. I'm an idiot. I can just use. Uh, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna use this little tip. You will see in a second. Damn you, Chris. Oh, Al Alex is upset at me. Oh no. But uh, I, I just want to know that I just keep doing this. Oh, man, don't get me started on that right there, Chris. I saw Flavor Flav last night. Black and black, black y'all. <laughs> How is Flair Flair even alive still? He was, he was alive yesterday in Coney Yeah, Island. yes he was. He was definitely very alive. Yeah. <laughs> Public enemy. Right, I'm just updating stuff, guys. I'm sorry. I have to test out uh, certain things here. Okay. That's fine. Alright. Way better. Way better. Much better. Okay, good. We'll do, we'll do it like that. So, Alex, now when you're streaming, it, the chat will now be embedded in your overlay. So you will not have to do no pop-outs or nothing like that. See? See? I look out for you. I look out for you, old ass. All right. So now, <laughs> we'll start on the next topic. And on your knees, you can lead into it if you have any information about that. Mm -hmm. And we'll start right now. Welcome back. This is not the juggernaut, and I'm not your bitch because you see, I'm not a female oh, dog. All right. Damn. So we're gonna oh, go into the I'm next black, topic. And I'm black, <laughs> <laughs> so we're about to start the next topic at hand. Uh, the article that we have here is the Kingdoms of Alamar devs not in uh, what does it say? Indicted with uh, criminal charges. So. We'll click on it. We'll see what it's about. I have no idea what the fuck this is about. 
Yeah, I wasn't um, even aware he was under criminal investigation, but I watched, he did an interview on the Anthony Cumia podcast about a month ago. Uh, he pretty much laid out what went on with the whole thing. So once you get that article up, I'll uh, go on, over a little bit in detail what actually happened, at least from his perspective. Right, right. Uh, so the, the short version is uh, he had his game company. They were working on an MMO. The market was already saturated, but what had transpired was Rhode Island, the state of Rhode Island, promised him $50 million, a $50 million loan to move, you know, the boaster, their employment and whatnot. So they gather up all their like 80 something employees, move to Rhode Island. Then the state of Rhode Island only gave them half or two thirds of the money. And since they budgeted for 50 million, they couldn't get loans to make it up and they folded. It's essentially what went down. Um, so according to him, you know, this is his perspective. There are no real shenanigans. Um, but in this first game, I played a little bit of it. I wasn't a fan of it, but it has it, it's, it was critically acclaimed. It did well. It sold well. Um, so I, I, I'm pretty sure he was on the up and up. But that's pretty much what went down. Uh, and it says here that they started the investigation. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, it says $75 million loan. I didn't think it was that high, but he didn't get all the money he was supposed to. He, he might have got $50 million out of the 75. Um, okay. Let me see here. But yeah, they did. A, apparently, they've been investigating him for five years. And they spent millions of dollars investigating him, and no criminal charges being filed. Mm -hmm. uh, and there, apparently, there was a partial sentiment of a $12.5 million. Uh, uh, there was a settlement there um, last year, but he's still trying to fight it, so... Um, the, it's a whole mess, and he put up a lot of his own money too, uh, to fund the game. So he he was a big loser in this whole thing too. Mm, I see, I see. So does anyone have uh, any comments on that? Because that's that's something. how did you get? I don't want to say more, but screwed out of that much money. Where if it's you said it was fifty million. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, they gave you. Yeah, I ordered their, yeah, but I think what happened was he was promised 75 and got 50. I know the number 50 is in there somewhere. So did he get the 50 before he moved or he get the 50 no, after the, he moved? No, as a condition of moving, he was supposed to get a loan for 75 million. Um, but he uh, he didn't get all the money he was promised. Okay. So when you budget for X amount of money and you'll get all that money, if you can't make up the difference somehow, you're going to fall, which is what so... happened. So... How come he couldn't ask for that money up front before we moved? Well, it's the government. I'm like, the ten, yeah. The, the I, ten words you never want to hear is, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. No. That's a, that's a Reagan quote. But, uh, <laughs> yes, it is. I've been like, well, I, I don't want to, you know, first of all, how about you give me the money up front before I even move? Because there's no guarantees if you give me half now and I make a move and I get there and you guys don't pay me. Well, Someone should have calculated that as a risk and been like, well, hold on. <laughs> hold on, you, man. You told me this, and then guess what night. And now I'm up here. You're going <laughs> to give me this much? No, we... You know, I understand yeah. that concept, but... Yeah, so know? that that's that's for what happened from his perspective. And I think it, that's pretty much the them not finding him guilty of anything pretty much justifies his position. Yeah, pretty um, much. I'm like, what you gonna, why, why would you take him to court and you knew any good judge would have saw and throw him out? Uh, if I was a judge, I would have been sitting there like, wait a minute, hold on. You guys told him this amount. He moved when he filed your obligations. Since he filed your obligations, you guys didn't pay him when he got there? Yeah, that's your fault. Because you guys were obligated by the contract, whatever you guys signed, to pay this person or this company. When they got there, you were going to mm -hmm. fulfill your part to give them money. Since you didn't, you defaulted on your part. So that's why he yeah. won that case. Good for him. It just sucks at how yeah. he... Had and to go through that crap to get there, but yeah, and Rhode Island is out of all that money now. Yeah, and I forgot yeah. why they shorted him too. They, there was some stupid reason, but they shorted him on that money, and they could well, enjoy that clam, that, enjoy that freaking um, clam chowder y'all got up there. So, hey, <laughs> uh, they moved from if I, uh, they moved from I forgot where Massachusetts to Rhode Island, and yeah, that whole that whole thing sucked. But oh well, shit happens. He's still yeah. doing it right for the most part. Right. Does anyone else have anything to mention about this? Because again, this is like something I'm not. Who this is? This was um who this this what was this guy's name? Who was... Kurt Schilling. Kurt Schilling. Yeah, that was. Yeah. His, uh, yeah. yeah. Don't do drugs. Or, um, what team? He was on Boston, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, yeah, and he put up a lot of his own damn money too. 
Mm. 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 Pretty much. Oh wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I can't, I, I can't, I can't, I can't fault the guy for doing that. Kingdoms of, of Amalur was a good game. I, I, I play it, and I still play it every once, once in a while. But yeah, I, I, I you know, I, I, I hate to be an asshole. I, I, I didn't mean it to sound like that, but um, I'm, I'm glad he's, he's cleared, but because you know he did something that I would like to do. I would like to start a, a game company or something like that. You know, if I have the means to, but still. You know, he followed his dream, and you know, he made it. Come he, here. He, he 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 made a deal and slept with the devil. So, you know, unfortunately. Oh, oh, I thought you was talking about. That. I mean, the graphics. If you look at it, the graphics, was extremely well done. It was extremely well done. Right. It really was. I remember um, MMORPG did a huge thing about it, and they gave it. They they raved about it. But you know, because they had plans to, because they had the plans to turn that into an MMO called. Um, Called Kingdoms of Amalur, KOA, as, as an MMO, based on the world that it was that it, that it was um, set in. I mean, a, a dream, a dream dashed, unfortunately. But moving along, gentlemen. Okay, so uh, T Risk, anything to mention on this, or shall I move on? Yeah, I just said they, they could have just given him his money. This did have to be a problem. This should have been a problem. Right. Hmm. You right. probably wasted more money fighting this and fighting with him than the money you could have spent just giving it to him. Well, that's what governments exist for, the waste money. Don't you know oh, that? Geez. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> his money doesn't matter. Man, all yeah, you need, we, are you really anti-government or something like that? I'm very libertarian, yes. Man. Uh, He's a sovereign citizen. <laughs> it was nice knowing you. Right. No, yeah. you know what? All of these remind me of... um. What's that dude in Live Free or Die Hard? That dude in the basement? <laughs> oh, Kevin <laughs> Smith. Smith. Kevin yeah, Smith. that's who you remind me of. Oh, I'm like, okay, look, bro. I'm, I'm not that knees. bad. <laughs> I'm not that bad, Jesus. Everyone just meet him on your knees house. Trust me, he's the only one that got power on. Everybody just go to his house. <laughs> <laughs> and then be taken down when the government comes from? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I got, uh, I got, I got, I got, I got a year's worth of MREs. I'm set. Oh he got, he got three, he got three servers, dog. He ain't going down. <laughs> he got three servers and two generators. He ain't going down. <laughs> and with that being said, we will close this topic once again. Uh, thank you for uh, watching for this particular segment. It was more like a PSA, but it was, it felt like it needed to be discussed because I haven't seen it and it just surfaced on IGN recently. But um. For YouTube uh, viewers, thank you guys. Please like, rate, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, I would say, you know, you know, thanks to our sponsors, Full Screen, but they're not really doing shit for us. And um, thank you guys for the, for watching. We have uh, six viewers watching on Twitch, which is you know pretty average. I would like to have more in the future, but slow things, slow things. All right, we'll be right back. And again, Alex is not here. He has personal things to take care of behind the scenes, even though he's in the chat acting like an old man. I'm right fucking here. old. Let me see. <laughs> he just keeps coming in and out. He's like in my head or some shit. He's not here, <laughs> but he's in my fucking head, yo. Know? He's just. Damn spirit. He's just, he's just not getting out. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, let me bring in this clip. Well, who is full screen and what's up with them? Nah, full screen is supposed to be like a, a platform to help us get more views and stuff like that. But without us doing the actual input of work to put them, uh, the videos onto their uh, their product, then we won't get people to watch. Man. So it's a little... We got to talk to they CEO. <laughs> hey, dawg, hey. You supposed to be doing your job. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I guess we could talk about see the Shemu thing. Is that even relevant? No, I think we can throw that in our PSAs. That's a PSA. So we'll leave that as that. Um, the next one's a PSA too. That's that. About the thirteen hundred dollar thing. Stupid. Yeah. Most of these are PSAs. Oh uh, no. 
Uh, I'd like to thank you, uh, NYC Playboy. I know what my next sound effect's gonna be. Getting it now. PSA. Can't believe I forgot about this one. Uh-oh. All my links are PSAs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Chris, what is it? What is it? Oh, my uh, God. Uh, it's a clip from UHF. If it H F. Uh, I'm not the only one that knows that movie, am I? EA Sports. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Then again, that's right, I, I forget, me and uh, NYC Play were the two old men in this channel. Yes, God, well, I was reminded. I'm old, too. I was again. reminded very well yesterday. yesterday <laughs> I, was, I was reminded a lot. They, like, deer in the head, like, do you know such and such? Deer in the head, like, look. Do you know such and such? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm like, uh, I was like, ah! Oh. <sighs> Pray for the children, Pray for them. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh, no, what? I get, I'm getting two clips out of this one. Okay. Hey, you guys go ahead. I'll, I'll be caught up in a second. Alright, I'm just trying to see if there's any more relevant news of actual topics. If not, we're just going to do like a huge PSA segment. That yeah, seems like that's what we're going to fucking do. Oh my god. Because right. I'm not joining this half Facebook. I do not care oh, about Pokemon Go, so. Pokemon! Oh, there's something hilarious. Uh, I'll share it only, on there when only we get caught on the, three. Oh, when, when we get on the air. <laughs> no, have you have you run into carping yet? I have. I I didn't have not downloaded Pokemon Go, and I would not. Is download that Pokemon. when people like beat a gym and then they just leave a magic cock there or something? Yes. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My brother did that to someone. He his magic carp lasted an hour before it got beat. <laughs> it's a it's a massive troll. It, it, it's better the lower level magic carp you leave the better. Oh, I've seen some of the, the nastiest things. People don't want magic carp, so I'm good. Wait, what? What kind of nasty shit are people doing? Some girl, some girl had this magic carp in the day. I'm like, oh, so this is what happens after? I was like, okay. I don't know. She's just channeling her inner her inner I don't know sexuality. It's like that, that's yeah. a magic carp. Yeah. Yes. Alright, so I'm just gonna start up the, the last local recording because again, all this is a fucking bunch of PSAs. This is not really anything of relevant news. Like, I apologize to our viewers, but it looks like we'll be done pretty early. Slowly, that's all. Alright. Um... Alright, welcome back guys, um, apparently we don't have much to, to further discuss within like stories of the week within gaming, um, there's been a lot of more of PSA topics to talk about so we're just gonna do like a final wrap up right now. So what I will do is I will go down from the list as I see it <clears throat> and we'll start up with NYC Playboy and go down all the way to T-Risk and then I will go last. So, NYC Playboy, do you have any PSAs or any announcements you would like to bring to the table? Um, discussing, um, the, 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 um, the guy who paid $1,300. So I wanna, yeah, um, he's a fucking idiot, so. He paid $1,300 for what? To play a oh, game God. two weeks, two weeks before release. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, <laughs> I'm, I'm, about to, I'm, I'm about to either either have a conniption fit or throw something. No, see, this is what happened with him right now. In his no, head. no, 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 This guy paid what company? Um, the, the No Man's Sky. Hold on, I'm about to read it real quick. $1,300 to play a game. On PlayStation 4. Was there even a continue okay. involved? Okay, this is what happened. Apparently, someone had an early copy on eBay. Apparently, it was selling around from roughly $1,500 to $2,000 of a two weeks early copy. Someone has paid for it, got oh shipped to it by FedEx, and had the opportunity to play the game. So that's what happened. And he still has the game. Yes. Yeah, the game doesn't come out until August 9th on PS4. Uh, yeah, August 9th so on the PS4. So he paid $1,300. Well, he could have waited three or four months to no, pay no, two like... Two weeks, two weeks. Two, two weeks, two, 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 oh, weeks. two weeks. to pay like six some bucks. Yep. Like I said, idiot. Stop it! <laughs> oh, stop it! 
This is why I cannot wait to get all my certifications so I can start making bigger money. It's just because me. if I would have saw that dude, I think I would have slapped him with thirteen hundred dollars in my hand. Just cause. <laughs> This is just really bad. I, I honestly like if you're that much of a diehard fan to spend almost thirteen hundred dollars or two thousand dollars from uh, early copies sold on eBay. I don't think it's worth that. With, with two thousand dollars, shit, shit. I could bought me a new computer. I could fucking bought me a month's worth of food. Thirteen hundred dollars for. I, I, early I'm, access I'm trying to grasp grasp that, but I can't because it's it's beyond idiotic, and by it's just beyond that. I'm trying to figure out how old were you, and I know what I don't blame you. I blame your parents because obviously they didn't teach you enough about things in life. Patience. Thank you. That's the one they didn't teach you. Oh my God. Oh. No, 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 it's no. Not. Oh, must, must be nice to have disposable income. Man. Like that? That's pretty crazy. But definitely, there's not more oh, uh, topics, God. Alex, like actual main heavy hitting topics. All this, honestly, was just PSAs. And we were trying to make them into topics. Just, if you read it out, you yeah. know, you'll see. But um, There wasn't much going on this week. Right. So, is there anything else you want to discuss, Playboy, or you're done with that? No, um. What the hell? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, so yeah. on your knees, is there anything that you would like to bring up in PSAs or future announcements? Uh, don't have any future announcements. Uh, just another Hulkamania update with the Gawker thing. Um, apparently the judge chastised Dick Denton about lying about the value of the stock. Uh, I didn't really have a chance to read through this, but this also put another smile on my face. Um, apparently he lied about the value of the company, and now their Hulk is going to start seizing assets, apparently. Oh, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, good time, so we'll have to see what, what happens. But uh, yeah, I don't have much else, and then my other sound effect is uh, this nothing! one. Nothing! Absolutely nothing! <laughs> yeah, just... yeah, that's uh, from UHF. I know I feel like an old man, but I watched that yes, movie. I watched yes. the shit out of that movie when mm -hmm. I was a kid. But mm -hmm. Weird Al Yankovic and yep. David Bowie was in there. Um, $1,300 for and, a uh, game. Oh it, my god. Was, was it Michael, Michael Richards? You know, just Kramer was in that movie too. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Write your own joke there, but uh, yeah, that's about it. All right, uh, Shin Sakuma, do you have any PSAs or announcements you'd like to discuss? No, only final thought is, you know, life is gonna knock you down, and when it does, don't stay down for too long. Immediately get back up. Yeah, okay. it immediately, immediately get back up, no matter what it is. It... Well, instead of it's getting simple. knocked down, you should. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. You know, I, I understand if it's if it's like something personal or of a family member, somebody like that uh, passed away or somebody died. But you know, do your best to immediately get back up. Don't stay down for too long because if you stay down for too long, you know, you'll dive more until you'll get more down, depressing or something. So don't stay down for too long. Make sure you immediately get back up. That's all I got. Okay. Okay. And uh, T risk. Any PSAs or announcements you would like to lead into? T-Risk. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. Any uh, PSAs you would like to talk about? Okay. For starters, when Shintakuma wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I have a couple here. Mm -hmm. but first of all, the owner of the legendary uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo website, No Ho Ho, he died recently. I didn't really know this guy too much. I've seen a, a few of his videos and I've seen um, the blog itself. But that's been... That's uh, but that's me. been... But that's been uh, slow going. I've, I've seen that many, many years ago. So his name is familiar with me. And it's very sad to see him go. It definitely is. I mean, anyone that passes away that has put a lot of input into the fighting game community, or any community for that matter, should be at least, like, respected in his own way. Certainly, certainly. It's very unfortunate that, um, 
that he did pass, you know, I give my uh, condolences to his family and to his uh, friends that was supporting him for everything that he's been doing with the the ST series. Yeah, he's he's done a lot for Super Turbo. He's done a lot for for Dark Stalkers. He did he did quite a few translations as well for interviews. Yes, yes. So, he so he's been very very backdoor type of person in the community. Mm. As far as getting information out there. Right, right, right. Yeah, my condolences. Definitely. Uh, let's see, what other topic you had posted up here? I have, I have a few others. Um, for anyone that cares about Fast Racing Neo, it's very F-Zero-like as far as what you're going to get on the Wii U. It's coming to physical release, and and recently on Twitter they mentioned that it's going to have DLC as well. They said from a year back that this game was not going to have a DLC, so to see now, especially after some of the more recent patches as far as balance fixes and adding new features, this is very nice. It comes with a few new tracks. Um, far more uh, music in the in the game itself, and a couple of cars as well. I believe eight vehicles. Right. So look forward to that. And moving on to that, playing video games actually boosts your visual motor skills. That's true. And now we're actually getting and head and eye coordination. And hand eye coordination, and now we're recently getting more reports on that. Any player will tell you that is an actual thing, especially if you play an, an FPS or a racing game or even um, a fighting game, that it greatly enhances your <coughs> hand eye coordination, your reactions, and things of that nature. So now more reports are coming in explaining that. That's a very interesting uh, topic here because normally people think that video games wouldn't really do much for the right. for anybody. They're just like, oh, you're just wasting your time. You're fucking sitting on the couch just playing that dumb Call of Duty yeah. or that dumb uh, Gran Turismo shit. RPGs greatly helped me as far as reading was concerned, so I can vouch for that. Hmm. Okay. I mean, as of for me, if I had to pick something, I, I mean, I've been playing fighting games since I was like fucking three. <clears throat> so that shit like tremendously increased my reaction timing and, you know, helping me like predict things a lot faster when it comes to playing any other game, whether if I'm playing an RPG, an action game, a shooter, whatever, so on and so forth. It's just more like the second nature now, but. Not many people get that same reaction or that same effect. Some people may not pick up on it as fast as others, or, you know. That's definitely interesting. Is there anything else? Yes, I do. I have one more thing I would really like to talk about. Okay. And that is Pop Culture Shock Collectibles. If you know of them, they are a, a, a figure website. They produce a bunch of figures for maybe comic books, for video games, <laughs> and recently they have a $310 statue of Chun-Li. Now this is a lot of money, <coughs> normally I would pay for this, however, the proceeds are going to charity, it's a pink variant of her and it's for breast cancer. So that's the only reason I've mentioned this. You say it's a statue or it's like statue. an actual like statue, yeah. Okay, all right. It's a statue of Chun Li. It's a pink variant. It's her Street Fighter Five variant of her doing her with feature. a feature. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. And they're bringing it down to two seventy nine. Still on money, but it's going to breast cancer charities. <clears throat> Yeah, this okay. is a very good cause, I, I'm not gonna lie, because a lot of people who do play Street Fighter do have, 
you know, certain diseases. Like we have uh, Broly Legs, who normally is crippled from the waist down, and he can only play with his face. You'll have people like Dayton, who, in the same way, like he could play with his hands, but it's like a certain way. It's like really bad, like damage. You have you have a lot of people who have a lot of different effects, but to go into something positive and make a 1.6 uh, live scale of Chun Li over player to color and use the the funding to go donate it to breast cancer is a phenomenal thing because like, two and two can go together it's a strong female figure and the street fighter series and you know supporting the cause so yeah if there's <laughs> any time they could have picked for this i <clears throat> definitely would have chose shun Lee over anyone else and not just street fighter alone just any particular fighting game mm-hmm this is definitely cool. I, I definitely like this, and I will be uh, supporting it as much as I possibly can. Alright, um, I guess with that being said, I will wrap up the last bit of the PSAs that is on here. Uh, we'll start off with that Shenmue, uh, Shenmue 1 game director. The original director from the Dreamcast Shenmue 1 game is now joining the Shenmue 3 production team, you know, to make the game seamlessly better, to give his insight on the game and what should and should not happen. That's good news. Uh, other news is Darks Darksiders War uh, Mastered is uh, coming out for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. This is basically the, the remastered version of part one. We already had the remastered version of part two, and a lot of people was like, where's part one? Where's part one? There you fucking go. <laughs> it's also for the Wii U as well. Well, I whoever gets it on the Wii U is... Yeah. They, they're kind of screwed on that one because I'm hearing that it's 30 FPS instead of 60. Let's look at that. Ugh. Look at that. Hurry. that, that that's, that's, that's pretty bad now. And mind you guys, I, I, I would like to bring this up before I continue on forward. We were doing gaming in 60 frames per second way back in the fucking day. And no one seemed to care about it or realize it until just recently. So for all you new generation of people that's living on the 60 FPS and think that we never had it back then, you might want to look back. You had it like on the Atari NES if you looked hard though. Yep. Really need to look back. But uh, there's also been a um, rumor, this is not confirmed, I have yet to see an official source from Nintendo yet. Um, the Nintendo NX will be now portable with cartridge based. So they're taking it back to like the Game Boy Advance era, the Super Nintendo era where you have to, you know, use an actual physical cartridge now right. and play the actual game that you intended to. I would like to see how this would further progress along of course nintendo's always trying to make new innovative ideas i guess we'll wait and see and whatnot well the thing is they said that it wasn't portable then they said it was then they went back on their word it was it was flip-flop so until i see like official shit it, it's whatever at the moment um yeah apparently like that idea. apparently there's been two other news news recently i haven't seen um that on the disco but i'll talk about that as well nintendo is releasing a uh, re-releasing the nes as a portable version with i think about 30 titles yep. yeah didn't yeah, we cover this last week well, yeah we covered that last well, week but i'll just mention it. it i'll just mention it again uh it's coming with 30 titles it will be dropping on november 11th and you guys can pick that up also re-releasing is the the sega mega drive classics with 80 Built in. Ooh, I, might have, I might have to get that. Is Miracle Warriors in there? That game was hot. I think so. Oh, uh, shit. Alex Kidd and everything else and whatnot. Oh, they put My Hero in there. So, <laughs> those are two things that will be uh, coming out very soon. And also, there's been a rumor that the Nintendo 64 might be coming up with a portable version of uh, around like 50 back games. So, ah, that's a rumor. That we'll see about that if they do come well, out and they have the Super Nintendo won't. The Super Nintendo one was dismissed, but I would really want that. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah, so would I. Do you um, have a link for the Sega one? For the what? For the Sega. 
um, yeah, it's system. it's it's in the it's in the Discord. If you scroll up to underneath the the Nintendo NX, still waiting it, on Mario small, Kart Go, man. Link, um, it's not happening. You're not getting Mario Kart. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> also, there's been a, a possible leak, which I will tell you right now, it's deconfirmed. I'll tell you that right out of the gate. Amazon have posted a listing that Street Fighter V will be coming up for the Xbox One uh, later on in nope. the year. Mm. Of course, we all know that's not true because they signed an alleged partnership with uh, Sony or, you know, PlayStation. And uh, the, the games is only going to be predominantly on PS4 and uh, PC. So that, I just, you know, confirmed that. Um, oh, that's another thing. For you Xbox Live owners, if you have not signed on your account within five years, starting in September of this year, if you didn't sign into your Xbox Live account within five years, your gamer tag will be erased, thrown back into the pool so someone else can take it. But here's the catch. You will not lose your information. You will not lose your game saves. You will not lose your DLC. You will not lose anything that you previously purchased with that gamer tag. All that's happening is that you just have to pick another name for free. You don't have to pay. <clears throat> pick another name out of the pool. That's it. So for all you people that was concerned, oh, I'm losing all my shit. I'm going to fuck you, Microsoft. I'm going to Sony. You're fine. Just change your gamer tag. Um... This is something that On Your Knees brought up, but we haven't really discussed oh. about it. Uh, Doom gets a, a ridiculous oh. update. 12 gigs. Uh, it's mostly Jeez. stuff for the Snap Map, which I haven't... I barely played the game, actually. I've been trying to get other stuff out of the way, because I know if I get into that game, I'll be playing that nonstop. Uh, but yeah, they're doing... Uh, shit, i got to open the point again. But uh, yeah, uh, mostly Snap Map stuff. Uh, I think a lot of bug fixes. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else was in there? It says it says in there, um, and it's all free, no charges. So plus one for that. Let me see updates, bug fixes, performance degradation, pull the core stage single player, number of achievement bugs introduced in the first update, fixed uh, some crash bugs, um, uh, bug fix on one of the guns. Um, let me see here, new content includes two multiplayer modes: uh, Sector and Exodus. Sector looks like um, King of the Hill. And Exodus is single flag, capture the flag. Okay. Uh, so they added two more multiplayer modes, so that's another good thing. Um, and then I have no idea. I haven't played Snap Map, so I'm not sure what's going on there, but um, they did a lot of stuff with Snap Map. Okay. okay. And the patch notes are available in the link, which um, I'm sure we'll include in any future postings of this video. Oh, nice. I'm trying to see something here. If this is a confirmed link or not. But to answer your question, Alex, it doesn't affect nothing. When I mean nothing, it doesn't affect your friends list. It doesn't affect nothing. All you're doing is changing your gamer tag. Nothing is affected. Your friends list won't be touched. Your games won't be touched. Your saved games won't be touched. Your old ass won't be touched. Nothing. Oh my god, shut up. Nothing. <laughs> I'm fucking old. Oh my. But um, apparently here that uh, T-Risk has put in a link here that Metal Gear Solid 5 might be getting a re-release. I would like to see that because if it's not going to support the cutout footage that they had allegedly attempted to put in there that was based on concept art and to find like the trailer on YouTube and we're in a bonus DVD that you get if you got the collector's edition. I would like to have that stuff in there, but apparently it's supposed to be bundled with Ground Zeroes, the Phantom Pain, the online DLC for the Metal Gear Online, and uh, something with the F uh, FOB missions. If that is true, and it does that, then I might take a look into it. But it's nothing uh, major at the moment. And Not nothing major. I guess that's about wrapping up unless if you want to talk about the marvel ultimate alliance thing it says uh pc ports are overpriced and undercooked yeah I'm, I'm hearing stuff about that it's just more of a warning to anybody that wants to buy it just be wary of it before you do check it out see anybody's uh community reviews 
before you buy it. Because if this is true, this might be a problem. Yeah, this is not cool, actually. But it has a lot of fixes to go under. Mm. Alright, and that's about wrapping up everything that we have here for today's podcast. Um, like, again, we did it last time. I'd like to thank our audience on Twitch and on YouTube for watching this PSA segment of uh, the last podcast of July. And the Can next time... on the VPN? Uh, don't use a VPN in the United Arab uh, Emirates right, unless UAE. you want to risk... Let's, UAE. Let's, Don't let's, use let's it as UAE. UAE. Let's let's not check this out. You will get a $545,000 fine. Oh, that sucks. So yeah, so don't VPN on the, the, the UAE. Unless you want to get risk uh, going to jail and paying almost a half a million dollar fine. So for anyone who's into VPN or whatever, just don't ping it there. Just leave it alone. Gotcha. That's, that, that's but, not cool but, at all. But I, I need my porn. I, I need all that right. porn. If people need their porn, that's right. Well, if people need their porn, they'll just have to ping <laughs> elsewhere. God damn it. <laughs> no comment. Yeah. But um, uh, any final comment. rebuttals uh, before we stop the local recording? Nope. Uh, nope. No. No. Nope. Wait. Hold on. Wait. 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 Hold on. Uh. Hold on. God damn it. God damn it. Rage Racer. Oh my <laughs> <God>. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Alex, uh, reply back to your comment. It doesn't change anything. Uh, no. Anything. Your friends <laughs> list don't get touched, man. Nothing changes. That you will Nothing. always know. Absolutely not. Yeah, can I get my can I get my five hundred ninety US dollars? <laughs> yeah. Five hundred and ninety nine US dollars. <laughs> You're gonna know who they are. It's nothing has changed except for your gamer tag. Your gamer tag is only changing its name. Everything else stays the fucking same. And I Okey doke. That. <laughs> so no final rebuttals or announcements before we get out no 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 okay so thank you guys for watching uh we will be coming back on the next podcast on the 6th of august which will be my uh you know podcast before i go on vacation so um vacation. yeah i'm going on Tampa, hang out there for a couple days. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next week. What you think about that pizza joint I sent you? Hold you know on, hold one? on. I'm not putting that on air. Ooh. I thought sent you as a tell. Yeah, but the thing is, if I check it, it'll show on stream. Oh. Yeah. All right, and we're about to end the live recording again. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, Alex couldn't be here due to personal reasonings and so on and so forth. Uh, hopefully he's back on next week uh, within the podcast and he will take over. But uh, yeah, I had to cover his ass this time. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, we'll be uh, getting off the, the live stream and um, all this will be uploaded fairly soon to the YouTube channel. So you guys stay tuned. And next week.